Forget everything you've been told about budgeting and expense tracking. It's outdated, it's ineffective, and it's holding you back. What if I told you there's a simpler, more powerful way to master your money? What's up, future millionaires? I'm Lou, making wealth accessible through credit. First, out of desperation, I figured out a way to create income out of thin air. Next, I focused on the outcome I wanted instead of chaos. Now I'm going to show you the exact system I use to make the outcome I wanted a reality. Let's get started. So let's talk about traditional budgeting being like that diet that you can never stick to. You know, the one that leaves you feeling deprived and dreaming about financial cheat days. Yeah, that one. So here's the issue. Traditional budgets focus on restrictions making you feel like you're in financial prison. They're all about looking backward, obsessing over what you've already spent. They don't account for life's curveballs, and me and you know life's full of them. Worst of all, they keep you in a scarcity mindset, always thinking about what you can't have. But here's the reality. You're not the problem. The budgeting system is. It's time to break free from that cycle and start thinking differently about your money. Now, let me introduce you to your new best friend, cash flow tracking. This isn't just a tweak to budgeting, but a whole new ball game. Here's why cash flow tracking is a game changer for you. You see, it's all about awareness and not restrictions. You won't be cutting things out, you'll be tuning in. It gives you a real time view of your financial health. So, no more flying blind. It's forward thinking. And I'm talking about growing your wealth and not penny pitching. It adapts to your life because it's impossible to fit your life on a spreadsheet. Imagine knowing exactly where your money is going without feeling guilty with every purchase. That's the power of cash flow tracking. It's like putting on glasses for the first time. Suddenly, everything becomes clear. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. And you know, it's not rocket science. So we're going to create a 31 day tracking sheet, which is way simpler than the traditional budgeting way, because you don't have to focus on what you need to take out or cut back on. So here's how you do it. Grab a sheet of paper, open up notes on your phone or log into Evernote. Number from one to 31. And each number represents each day of the month. So for each entry, you already have the dates numbered. So all you have to do now is look at your bill, see what that date is, make a description of it, and the full amount of that bill. And make sure you put the full amount. You don't want to break your bills up in, in weeks. You want to be able to pay all your bills in full. And in the future, I'll show you how to pay your bills down a lot faster. Now, here's where the magic happens. Every week, you want to take a quick look at your sheet. And as you're looking at it, what patterns do you see? Maybe you're spending more on eating out than you realize. Or maybe your side hustle is bringing in more than you thought. And remember, this is not about judging yourself. It's about getting curious about your own finances, which all of us should be. Every entry on that sheet is a piece of your financial story. And guess what? You're the author. Only you have the power to change the narrative. Or you give that power to someone else. Maybe that's why we have such terrible budgeting systems. So we're about to change that. So let's talk about the secret weapon in your cash flow arsenal, your gas and grocery accounts. This little trick is going to give you some serious financial superpowers. I remember when I was going through my financial crisis, I was desperately trying to figure out how to squeeze a nickel from a turnip. That's probably not how that saying goes, but I figured it out. Did you know if you filled your gas tank up at the halfway mark, you would save more money? Anyway, here's how it works. You want to open up two separate savings accounts, one for your gas and one for your groceries. As you learn how much you're spending on your groceries and gas, start transferring that, that money every paycheck so it's covered for the week. You want to use these accounts for gas and grocery purchases only. Why is this so powerful? It creates a clear boundary for these fluctuating expenses. You always know exactly how much you have available. It prevents overspending without feeling restricted. It simplifies your tracking because you've separated two major accounts 
from all of your other expenses. It isn't about limiting yourself. It's about giving yourself the freedom to spend on these essentials without worrying about blowing your whole budget. Feel free to include extra for weekend trips and eating at your favorite restaurants. It's like having a financial safety net that you design yourself. The safety net is if you don't see cash flow every paycheck, you're doing something wrong and need to adjust. So now that we focus on tracking your cash flow and not your expenses, we're going to look at patterns in your money movements. Trust me, this is where things get very interesting. So here's what to look out for. Income patterns. When does money come in? Is it regular? Are there opportunities to increase it? Think about that. The next thing, spending hotspots. Where is most of your money going? Are there any good or bad surprises? The next thing is seasonal trends. Does your spending seem to change with the seasons? The next thing is emotional spending. Do you spend more when you're stressed or when you're happy? Remember, we're not here to judge. We're here to understand. Every pattern that you uncover is an opportunity to make positive change. Maybe you realize you can negotiate a few bills lower, or maybe you discover the perfect time to start a new hustle you've been dreaming about. This is your financial power-up moment. Stop thinking about pennies. You're uncovering the story your money is telling you. And once you understand that story, you can start writing new chapters. You're probably thinking the same things I was. This sounds great, but I'll never stick to it. So let's tackle some of the challenges I had and maybe some that you may come across. Challenge number one, I'll forget to track everything. What I started doing is using my phone. That You have free apps on your phone and there are some you can download. I still use my phone to this day. It's free. Make it a habit to input new transactions as soon as they happen. Challenge number two, I never thought I had time, so I always tell myself I don't have time for this. The solution was to start small. You learned that in part one. Even tracking for five minutes a day can move mountains. It's about continuous progress, not perfection. Challenge number three, my partner is not on board. If that's the case, make it a team effort and celebration. Show them that achieving these small milestones can reap great rewards. So continue without them, pay that debt off, because sometimes seeing is believing. Remember, everyone that's successful with their finances started somewhere. The fact that you're here listening to this information means that you're already ahead of the game, because nobody knows this system but me. And now you have the power and the knowledge to make this work for you. And it all starts with understanding your cash flow, not your expenses. That's the game changer. So now that you have your expenses correctly organized, we need to take this three-part system and turn it into actual income with this next video, the Wealth Attraction Tutorial. I'll see y'all next week.